Hi, welcome to Ellen's Holistic Heaven. This is my office. This is where I work. I sell supplements and I'm a natural health consultant and a biofeedback specialist. Um, and I want to do a video today. And this was spurred recently by a few clients that would call when they were sick and I could tell that they thought they were dying. And I could relate so much because whenever I have a little bug, the flu, a cold, anything, I notice that my emotions are definitely off. I just don't feel myself. Sometimes I even feel a bit depressed, sad, anxious, um, a little bit more needy. Well, your brain chemicals, believe it or not, do go off when you're sick. And I found an article online that I'm gonna link below that actually explains this in good detail. Um, so they did find that that is true. Your brain chemicals go off when you're sick. So that's why the title of today's video, you're not dying, you're just sick. Um, and there are a lot of things you can do to help and that's the beauty of natural health is we have things that we can use, um, not just to get the body better, but to help the emotions and support them during times of stress. What I like to use is essential oils. That would be my number one when I'm not emotionally feeling well. And of course they support our body when we're sick also. Before I go any further, I should say I'm not a doctor. Um, basically I've been studying natural health for 30 years. I've been selling this one vitamin company, Nature Sunshine Products for 30 years also. And those will be the products that I will be talking about today that could be helpful and there will be links below for any of the products that I mentioned so that you can go purchase them back to what do we do then if we're sick and emotionally distraught which happens and I bet you a lot of you people will relate to this um, so my number one would be lavender lavender is such a basic essential oil um, most people have heard of lavender but at the same time it's got so much power and a lot of times I will take lavender and if something hurts, like say I have a headache, because a lot of times when you have a cold, you might have a headache and I'll actually just rub it on my temples, a little bit on my chest, and that just immediately relaxes things and helps with the pain for me. So lavender's my number one. And then we would go to bergamot. Bergamot is a wonderful um, citrus essential oil and it's been shown to help with mood and to be very uplifting. So this would be one um, that you would want if you feel down when you're sick love my Typhu essential oil. This one, oh my gosh, I've used for years. I remember years ago, I had a really bad cough. And one of my friends who does Nature Sunshine said, Ellen, you got to take some Typhu for your cough. And I'm like, I've never used that. How would I use it? Well, she gave me a cup of tea and she actually put a few drops right in my tea and I drank it and the cough was so much better. Um, and you can also take Typhu and rub it on the chest. Um, and the main ingredient is actually wintergreen oil and a bunch of other essential oils, which they can't even tell you it's their secret. It's a little bit of a secret what's in here and it's so good. Um, but Typhoo, I keep this in my purse at all times. Actually, as a side note, I had a lady, I was in a store and she was about to faint. I don't know what was wrong. I pulled my Typhoo out, put it under her nose and she perked right up. It's just so amazing. Um, so Typhoo, when I'm tired, when I'm sick, when I'm coughing, I always use my Typhoo, but it's always in my purse because it's safety. Um, and then a lot of times too, you could use things like flower essences. Maybe you haven't, or maybe you have heard of flower essences. Basically, it's like a homeopathic, but made from flowers. And they found that these can really be helpful for emotional upset. Um, one of my favorites when I'm feeling kind of weird when I'm sick, be courageous. It just gives you that strength back. You feel weak emotionally. This gives you the strength to do what you need to do or just to feel normal again. So be courageous. Then we have one called find strength because a lot of times when you're sick, it's hard. It's hard to find strength and to be strong and to just do what you need to do and feel normal. So find strength. And the last one that I would use is distress remedy. And this is one, especially when you first get sick, because it literally helps with distress. And when you're sick, you feel distressed. So that would be really helpful. And these are so easy to take. You prop just a little drops under the tongue. It tastes sweet. It's so easy and they're so helpful. This article has proven or the doctors have proven that your brain isn't working as well. And one of the things they, they recommend at the very end of the article is to drink caffeine. And I, you know what? I don't know if I would be drinking coffee when I'm sick because that's not the best thing for your gut. And you want to get your gut back to normal so that your body recovers. So what I thought, one of the things I use that has caffeine in it for the gut would be rejuvenate. And rejuvenate is a nitric oxide generator, which basically oxygenates the body. Um, but it also has a little bit of green tea in here that has caffeine. So this would be what I would use when I wanted a little bit of caffeine when I was sick. And I use this also for exercise and many other things, but it would be really good for that. 
And then I was thinking, all right, then we need to rebuild the gut lining to get those brain chemicals back to normal so you feel physically and emotionally better. And what do you use? Ultra Biome DTX, which is basically a fiber supplement, but it also has um, different ingredients in here that actually support the gut lining. So these are the products that I would use um, when I'm sick and when I'm off emotionally, especially. So a lot of times, like I said, when you're sick, you feel like you're dying. And a lot of times you'll think, oh my gosh, do I have this or do I have that? And no, you're just fighting off a virus or a bacteria, some form of bug that's out there. But how many of you, and let me know below, have felt that way? You've had a bug, after a few days you're like, oh, but maybe I'm dying, maybe I've got this, maybe I've got that, and you don't. You're just sick. And then when you get better, you're like, oh, how silly of me to think that way. So let me know down below if you can relate to this and if you have any questions about anything I've said or any products that I've suggested that I use that you might want to know more about. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm gonna to try to do more of these videos to help you guys. Um, I've been doing this a long time and I just love it, it helps. So ask away if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.